In this video, I'm reviewing the Ergo Neo hearing aid. Coming up. Hi guys, Cliff Olson, doctor of audiology and founder of Applied Hearing Solutions in Phoenix, Arizona. And on this channel, I cover a bunch of hearing related information to help make you a better informed consumer. So if you're into that, make sure you hit that subscribe button. And don't forget to click the bell to receive a notification every time I post a new video. At the Consumer Electronics Show in 2019, online hearing aid retailer Ergo released their Neo Hearing Aid, which is their newest rechargeable invisible in the canal hearing aid for mild to moderate high frequency hearing losses. In fact, as of right now, Ergo is the only company with a rechargeable invisible in the canal hearing aid on the market. Now I will have a link to these devices in the description of this video, just in case you like what you see in this review. That being said, let's go ahead and get into the review of the Ergo Neo. Several aspects of the Ergo Neo devices have been improved upon significantly over the previous generations of Ergo Plus and Ergo Max devices, and one of the biggest improvements is the form factor. And it all starts with the flexi palms. You can see the difference between the old flexi fibers on the previous generation of devices and the flexi palms on the Neo devices. In my opinion, the new flexi palms are significantly more comfortable than the flexi fibers from those previous versions. And they are starting to feel just about as comfortable as a custom molded invisible in the canal hearing aid. The build quality is substantially better and they made the battery contacts flush with the rest of the body of the hearing aid. This makes cleaning much easier and it reduces the issue of having grime build up inside of the battery contact recesses. This is an issue that users had with the previous generation of devices. The body of the hearing aid is also more cylindrical, which I find to be more comfortable inside of my ear. And they also added extra microphone ports to prevent the microphones from getting clogged so easily. Now let me go ahead and give you a close up of the Neos. You can see the flexi palms on the end of this device and you can see the ear indicator telling me that this is for my left ear. You can see that sleek design of the body of the hearing aid and you can also see that those battery contacts are flush with the rest of the hearing aid as well. On the backhand side, that's where you'll find the six microphone ports. And what I'm holding onto is the actual removal string. Now I also use that removal string to put it inside of my ear. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you how I do that. I just kind of start it off by pushing it in. I pull my ear back a little bit to open up my ear canal and then I slide it in the rest of the way. They did a really good job of designing this in a black color because when you look inside of someone's ear canal, all you see is a black opening. So when you make the device black, it blends in with that really well. And then you can't even really see that removal string in there as well and I can easily remove this device outside of my ear using that removal string it's very simple to do now one of the nice aspects of the neo design is that they don't cause the occlusion effect the occlusion effect is what occurs when you plug your ears up with something and since these flexi palms suspend this device in the center of your ear canal you never get that occlusion effect which gives you the perception that your voice is boomy and loud to yourself it's very similar to a traditional open fit hearing aid that eliminates occlusion now the first charger that I received from Ergo for the review actually had some issues with the battery contacts. I had to wiggle the devices around in there a lot just to make sure that they could actually get a charge. And then about halfway through my review, one of the hearing aids ended up malfunctioning. So I had to call customer support for Ergo, which is actually one of their strong points. They were able to get me another charger and another device right away. One of the other new features is the smartphone app. The app gives you easy access to frequently asked questions, how-to videos, user guides, and the Ergo store, among other things. It also lets you remove up to three volume programs, so any programs that you do not want to use won't get in the way. You can also contact customer support via email or by phone from the app itself. It's important to understand that the app only connects with the charger, so it's not like you can go into the app and make some settings adjustments inside of your hearing aids while you're wearing them, and you can't stream audio directly from your phone into these hearing aids. What the app does allow for is for you to toggle on and off the different program settings. And now those programs one through four are basically volume programs. So one is the lowest volume level and four is the highest volume level. Now the app doesn't really do a whole lot in terms of manipulating the program settings on your devices, but this is where Ergo customer support comes in. They can actually send you over some preset program settings that you can use in those different program slots. These programs include a mute program, a flat response program, a noise reduction program, and a feedback reduction program. Basically, if you have your charger connected via Bluetooth to your phone, Ergo customer service can send the new programs to the charger, which will upload into the Neo devices. 
I was able to have them take the volume settings from program four and move them to program one. Then we put the flat response program into the number two slot, the noise reduction program into the number three slot, and the feedback reduction program into the number four slot. And just like that, in a matter of less than a minute, the settings have been uploaded into my Neo devices. Like I mentioned before, you can also remove programs from your devices, and this is helpful because if you're the type of person who only uses two programs, you don't have to cycle all the way through to number four and then come back to number one. And on top of that, you basically have to smack your ear to change programs, so you'll have to do less of this to actually cycle through your programs. Now it's important to understand that Ergo does not have the ability to customize your program settings. So it's not like you can take an audiogram, send it into Ergo, have them make custom program settings for your devices, and then send them to you. That's not how it works. They basically have standard amplification settings in the devices that they're using for everybody, no matter what type of hearing loss that you have. And then it's on you to actually shift through the volume settings on that to see how close you can get to a beneficial amount of amplification. Now I wanted to objectively measure just how well a non-customized Ergo Neo device would come to a mild to moderate high frequency hearing loss prescription inside of my ears using real ear measurement. For whatever reason, Ergo engineers decided to use a linear hearing loss prescription, which is not a common prescription that we see nowadays, and I don't even have the equipment that can measure a specific linear hearing loss prescription. So what I'm gonna use is I'm gonna use a non-linear hearing loss prescription, the NAL NL2, which is the gold standard for adult hearing aid fittings, and I'm only going to measure a 65 dB SPL input. I've entered in a mild hearing loss for my right ear, and to be conservative, a moderate hearing loss for my left ear. Then I created an NAL NL2 prescription for these losses so I can measure to see how well the NEOs match this prescription. In order to perform real ear measurement, we must insert a probe microphone into an ear canal along with a hearing aid. We then place sound from a speaker in front of the individual and measure the amount of amplification given to that sound by a hearing aid inside of an individual's ear canal. What you're looking at here is my mild hearing loss prescription. The hash mark line indicates how much amplification is required to properly amplify for this level of hearing loss. The solid black line that you see is the sound that is coming out of the speaker in front of me, and the solid pink line is what we call the real ear unaided response, or REUR, which is the measurement of that speaker sound inside of my ear canal without a hearing aid. Any increase in the measurements that you see above the solid pink line throughout the course of these measurements is the amount of amplification provided by the hearing aid. With the Neo hearing aids in my ear, we need to measure the amount of amplification given by program one as indicated by the solid purple line. The prescription hash mark line will change in color with each program setting, but will be in the same place for each measurement. Now I ran these measurements for each of the four program settings. Program two is in red, program three is in turquoise, and program four is in green. What we want to see is the solid line overlapping with the hash mark line as closely as possible. There are areas that it over amplifies and under amplifies depending on which program setting I have it on. We can see that they provide a sizable amount of amplification between 1500 and 2000 Hz and hit prescriptive targets out to 2000 Hz by program 2. But we don't hit the high frequency targets until we turn it to program 4, which is indicated by the green line. And by that time, we are significantly over amplifying the mid frequency range, which can lead to reduced speech clarity by masking over high frequency sounds. Let's take a look and see how well the NEOs match a moderate hearing loss in my left ear. Again, the NEOs are not customizable beyond increasing the volume between programs 1, 2, 3, and 4. As you can see here, we do not meet the prescription for a moderate hearing loss in my left ear, and therefore we would definitely not be able to provide enough amplification if I had a moderately severe hearing loss in my left ear as well. Additionally, the NEO devices are not capable of providing any low frequency benefit because the flexi palms allow for too much leakage of low frequency amplification. I also took a measurement with the Ergo Max hearing aids in program 4 for comparison to see how much amplification differences there are between these devices at program 4. The green curve is the Neo device at program 4 and the purple line is now the Max device at program 4. For a moderate hearing loss, you can see that the Max device does come closer to the hearing loss prescription and for a mild hearing loss, the curves are pretty similar. 
For an additional comparison, I also took a measurement using a custom programmable invisible in the canal hearing aid, now indicated by the turquoise solid line, to give you perspective of what an ideal mild to moderate NAL NL2 prescriptive match is. You can see that we match the prescriptive hash mark lines almost exactly out to 6000 Hz. Now it's important to note that just because you won't match your hearing loss prescription exactly, it doesn't mean that you can't receive some significant benefit from these devices. Really your measurement just ensures that you're receiving the maximum amount of benefit from whatever devices you decide to wear. I also wanted to show you the real ear measurement of these new program settings that I had Ergo customer support upload into my devices. First, I tested the flat response. The purple curve indicates the amplification while in program four, which is the maximum volume program. The red curve indicates what happens to the amplification when we switch into the flat response version of program four. You can see it takes down the high frequencies a little bit and boosts up the mid frequencies. The response is definitely a little flatter, but not by a lot. Second, I tested the noise reduction program. You can see the response curve is very similar to program four, which is what we would expect to see when testing speech and quiet. But I also tested the devices in noise to measure the difference in noise reduction between program four and the noise reduction program. The first measurement that I ran is the amount of noise reduction that we see in program four. The purple curve indicates the standard amount of amplification before noise reduction kicks in. You can see how over time the red curve falls away from the purple curve, indicating how much noise reduction is occurring in this program. Then I switched to the noise reduction program and ran the measurement again. The turquoise curve from this noise reduction program does start out a little below the purple curve, which was from program four, but what we care about is the overall difference in the turquoise curve and the green curve, which indicates the amount of noise reduction in this particular program. You can see that the green curve from the noise reduction program is ultimately lower than the red curve from the standard program number four, meaning that the noise reduction program did reduce noise more than program four, and the average difference is by about two to three decibels. Last, I tested the feedback suppression program. Feedback, or whistling, typically occurs at around 3000 Hz because of the natural ear canal resonance of the human ear, which I'll have to get into in another video. What we can see, as indicated by the pink curve, is that this program reduces the amount of amplification at around 3000 Hz to reduce the likelihood of feedback occurring. But it could also negatively impact speech understanding because you are actually taking away from some of the amplification in the speech range. However, without the ability to control how much sound leaks out of your ear canal due to the flexi palms, there aren't a lot of options other than using notching, like Eargo is doing here, or using phase inversion to cancel out the feedback. At the end of the day, the Eargo Neos are definitely capable of providing you with some beneficial amplification, and the new programs that they have put into these devices, or at least made available for these devices, can give you some additional benefit as well. The last thing that I want to cover is the cost of these devices. Ergo Neo devices come in a set of two, which means that you have to purchase two of them at one time. Now, if you're an individual who only has hearing loss in one ear, then you really should be going in to get a hearing evaluation first because that could be a sign of a more serious medical condition. That being said, the cost of two devices is $2,750 or $2,750. Now the link that I have in the description as of right now has a $200 saving, so you can actually grab yourself a set for $25.50. They do come with a one year warranty that you can with a fee extend for another year. And one of the nice features inside of the warranty is the advanced replacement program. So if you happen to have a device that stops working for you, you contact Ergo, they will send you a new device right away so you can get that device back in your ear and then you can send back the device that stopped working. The other nice thing that Ergo has is their upgrade discount program. So if they come out with a new device that you just have to have, you can send in your old devices and get a discount on the newer ones. And Ergo comes out with new devices about every year. Ergo is also one of the very few reputable online hearing aid manufacturers out there. So if you are going to be buying hearing aids online to treat your hearing loss, you might want to give the Ergo Neo a try. That's it for this video. If you have any questions, leave them in the comment section below. If you liked the video, please share it. And if you want to see other videos just like this one, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. I'll see you next time.